Oh. Wait, this is literally not what I thought would happen when I filmed this video. It's not terrible. No, this is 100% dried up. Guys, I officially sell fidget toys on my website shopnicolejacklin.com as well as slime, fidgets, slime, merchandise, and more shopnicolejacklin.com. Hi you guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am doing my vending machine fidget hunting haul slash review. So if you guys haven't seen, I went fidget hunting at vending machines and I bought quite a few capsules of fidgets and it's time to review them. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe down below to my channel and like this video. Comment down below if I should do another vending machine fidget hunting video. In fact, get this video to 5,000 thumbs up if I should do another part two fidget hunting at vending machines. I would love to do that. And of course, I will link the part one, the first shopping video down below. Go and watch that after you watch this video or watch it first, whatever you want, but it is linked down below. Go check it out. And a huge announcement, my fidget store, AKA shopnicolejacklin.com, that's my store, is restocked with fidgets, slime, slime supplies, merchandise, all you could possibly want is in my shop right now. There's poppets, fidgets of literally all kinds, like tangles, snappers, I have a wristband poppet, everything, literally everything. It's all linked down below in my store, shopnicolejacklin.com. You guys can use the code FIDGET15 for 15% off your entire order. Make sure you guys use that discount code and save some money, girl. Okay, you guys, really fast. I actually had to refilm the intro and outro of this video because it was totally unfocused, but I had a second angle the entire time so you can totally see clearly what I was unboxing. So just a heads up, the rest of the video is going to be kind of primarily the second angle only because because you can't see me in this angle in the other clip anyways. So just a little heads up, but the video is still great. So keep on watching and enjoy. Okay, so we have so many capsules here. I'm gonna just start because I'm way too excited to wait any longer. I've already waited like a week, but you guys wouldn't know that because you just watched the shopping video, but it's been a minute and I'm just like, I haven't had to film it yet. Okay, so first of all, we have this bouncy ball and this was the one that was like 25 cents. If you watch, you know that the first one I tried didn't give me a bouncy ball. It took my quarter and I was so upset about it because it was a quarter, man. It was a quarter, but it's very cute. It's a very pretty bouncy ball. And I mean, I'm not really sure if you consider this a fidget or not because it's different, but I feel like it's, it's close to a fidget, but we have that as our first thing. Second of all, in this capsule, looks like a, a slime, or like just a clay, I mean. There's like two pieces of clay. Love these capsule things. There we go. All right. Ooh, weird. Okay, so these are kind of like clay pieces. They're probably supposed to be like butter slime. Oh, oh no, 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 no. This is really bad. This is terrible. No, this is 100% dried up clay. Um, I guess it was like 50 cents, but like, come on. And I'm, yeah. I mean, the thing, they're probably sitting there for a very long time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, these are um, quite terrible. Um, so the first fidgets are awful. Um, I, mean, I have high hopes that the rest of them will, you know, be better. <laughs> okay, next up we have this orange capsule. Looks like it is uh, like yarn per se. These capsules are literally so difficult to open. Gosh, I'm gonna cut myself on plastic. Okay, so I'm not really sure if you consider this a fidget or not. 
because I mean, it's like strong. Oh, wait a minute. You know what this is? I know what this is. I want you guys to comment this down below. So it's a giant connected piece of rainbow yarn, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm about to go off so hard right now. So I was born in 96 and in the early 2000s, we did this thing where you would do like cat's cradle and you do all these different yarn games essentially. So someone would come in and they would take these they would take the, this one and this one and they would pull them up and out and put them onto their hand and you would just keep doing it. We would do that for hours, truly. We do different types of ones. Oh my gosh, I'm literally like, this is throwing me right back. Yeah, oh my gosh. Ah, this is so fun. Truly, with, I mean, in my opinion, bouncy balls, doing this kind of string stuff, um, silly putty, those are like, like the OG fidget toys in my opinion. Wow. I literally have not done that in such a long time. What else could you do? I kind of forgot. So there's Cat's Cradle and there's, um, <laughs> this is so funny. I haven't done this in years, but you just like muscle, you just like remember. Oh my gosh. You just, Whoop. You can do different types of ones. Whoop. Ooh, made a little knot. So, okay, clearly very fun. And if you guys know what this is or you don't, now you do because this is classic. OG, OG. Okay, next up, this other capsule. Oh my gosh, I'm literally gonna hurt myself. These are so rickety. Okay, stinking capsules. Wait, what is this? Captain Phasma? Okay, I was like, what? So they're like those like shifting things. You can kind of wear them as tags. You can, they're, they're, they're stickers, I guess. Oh, they're stickers. But it comes with the keychain. Stickers are not fidgets, I know that. But it was in like one of those squishy tank things. Okay, we'll put this aside. But dog tags, question mark, slash stickers, LOL. This next thing is a little figurine. I did not think I would have a problem with this part. Oh my gosh. You guys, I think this dog has been sitting in there forever. Look at how dirty it is. It's like dusty. That's so concerning. Um, hi, it's a little puppy. It's very cute though. I think he needs to just get like a little bath. Need a little refresher with the fur, and then it'll be good to go. This is super gummy feeling. I definitely want to go back out. I want to find like little stress balls. Ooh, oh, this is creepy. It's like kind of old looking. So it's totally gummy. Yeah, it's like a gummy, stretchy little toy, but it's like a, a cat. Oh my gosh. I mean, this at least it's not dried up. At least it's real. But it truly looks kind of creepy. Like it's been sitting there for a long time. Um, there's no way of telling how long these have been in there. I wonder if these have a date on them. Oh, I wish I would have said like when it was when these were created. Because that would be so funny to know. Because my bet is on these have been in here for like at least five years. At least. Okay. This is a little figurine also. It's a little alien figurine. Hello, E.T. from home. So cute. Love an alien. We stand. So cute. We have a little family of creatures in string and dried up clay. Oh, they're kind of like, kind of like their beds. We'll let them lay down because they have not been been able to sleep in years because they have been in a freaking hot vending machine probably for at least five years. And that to me sounds like a freaking terrible time. Thank goodness they're in a better place now. <laughs> this is a putty, which hopefully it's not dried up. Okay, this, oh, look at that. We have some sealant. 
so you know it's real. There we go. Oh. Wait, this is literally not what I thought would happen when I filmed this video. Um, these are all so dried up and shriveled. I can't even. <laughs> okay, I'm actually kind of upset because I did not. Okay, we are on a mission to find a successful slime that hasn't dried up. Between these capsules being so hard to open. Okay. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be a success. Okay, this is, okay. It's a little sketch for um, sand, but it, it's not dry and it works. I'm not even gonna dare to smell it. It probably like a bunch of chemicals, but this is a success. Oh my gosh. It's better than the slime. It's still like, you know, it was a few quarters, maybe even two or three, but you know, it's not terrible. Considering I can still play with that, this would be like their like bed rest, truly. Building them a room. We're giving them a room finally. And oh, this is a little figurine also. It has, oh, this is kind of cute actually. It's a little like green poop with the tongue out face. You have that. This is, these are kind of like, I keep putting this on like your window. Um, in my defense, a lot of these machines that would show squishies and stress balls would give you this or sand or whatever you call these, like, window things. Oh, that, oh great, I made a bubble on my table. Let's do it again. Okay, actually that's a pretty good suction for um, a quarter vending machine thing. These are super cute actually, and I would totally put those on um, my window or even just like on my desk and you could totally fidget with them like that. Totally works as well. I love these, these are super cute. Surprise, I'm glad we have ones that I'm actually like going to stick on my desk after this because this can't be a total fail. <laughs> and I definitely do want to go back and shop for more. And I have some ideas of where I want to go next that aren't where I went before. So we can find some fresh things. Oh, we have some more sand. Amazing, because the sand was a really good one. This is um, like a red color. Oh, and it's in much better shape. Oh yeah, this is way fresher. Um, it's supposed to kind of do that. It's, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's supposed to have like a, a little bit of a slime-like thing to it. It's kind of like slimy sand. Like, again, it's still kind of hard, but it isn't terrible. And it was like two quarters, so what can you say? You pay for what you get, but it's not terrible. Smells terrible though. It really does smell terrible. Oh no, that that just cannot be good. Okay, I need to like cover that up because it really stinks. Ew, that smells so bad. Okay, Clay, please tell me that you're not also dried up. So we have this other capsule. <gasps> oh good. So we just had a little fluke. Is that great? but it's not terrible. You could make your little slimes. This is like totally just clay for slime. Oh, look at that, that's how it should be. Wow, it actually, it's kind of quite like sizzly. This is quite impressive. Considering this and this are the same thing and this is not gonna do anything ever. <laughs> I'm very impressed with that. So we have this one. In the same capsule, we also had this, kind of like green flown. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a little crunchy. <laughs> it's quite crunchy, actually. Put that next to there. And it also came with these two little eyeballs, which, that's cute. With little googly eyes. You can kind of do like a little monster. It's the monster map. 
mash. He did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. That's all I know from that song. In case you couldn't tell. Okay, spooky vibes all the way. Not gonna lie, I totally was getting into the spooky vibe mood this morning. I was like looking at like, fall Halloween mood boards and I was like thinking about all the fall themed, Halloween themed YouTube videos. Wow, it's gonna be so good. Look at this, oh my gosh. This is incredible. For um, a quarter machine, this is great. And the googly eyes are really cute too. I cannot complain about that one, um, but I could about the smell of the sand. Like that's, can't be good. <laughs> Just can't be good. <laughs> okay, next up we have this orange clay looking situation. Oh, it's um, it's a flum, but it's quite fluffier. It's quite fluffier. Oh, that's nicer. It's winter than the last one. I'm obsessed. I'm really happy that things have turned around a little bit. <laughs> First off, it's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who did that? The chemical smell is real. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's quite real. Quite strong, honestly. But it was also a few quarters. <laughs> okay, and then lastly, we have this one. A putty, oh, it looks like it's also dried up. Sad face. It looks just like the other fruit one. A little kiwi shaped fruit container. And then the putty, oh no, look at that. This putty is super nice. It's like stretchy, it's crusty, like it's actually hard. But these putties are so good if they're not hard. Oh, that's sad. All right, you guys, what'd you guys think of that video? I hope you guys loved it so much. It was so much fun to film and I was quite surprised. Um, I think it was like pretty half and half. It was like half were okay. Um, the other half were like either really bad or it wasn't like as, as down for them. Um, if I should do more of these videos, 5,000 thumbs up on this video and I will do more fidget hunting videos in the future at vending machines. And honestly, comment down below if you have ever seen a quarter vending machine with these kind of things inside of it, because I wanna know where to go. Like comment down below store names because I will literally pull up and it can be, it's usually random. Like sometimes random malls will have them, random restaurants will have them. So let me know down below where you guys see these because I'm down to explore drive around a little bit and find some fidgets at vending machines. So yes, you guys, I will link part one down below. Go and watch the actual shopping video. That was so fun to film. It is linked right down below. Go watch that video right now after you guys finish up here. And last announcement for this video, my store Shop Nicole Jacqueline is restocked. Make sure you guys go check that out right now. There's a bunch of really cool poppets, really cool fidgets. I have a bunch of variety now. I sell pop tubes, wacky noodles, marble mesh, um, all the poppet sizes. I have little poppets. Um, this is pretty large, but little. And then I have the massive ones also and different shapes. I have unicorns, butterflies, like the gigantic ones and the Among Us, I have those. I have some color changing poppets that change when they're in the sunlight. So lots of variety. Make sure you guys go check those out in my store right now. It is linked down below and use the code FIDGET15 for 15% off your entire order. And yeah, then just follow me on TikTok. It's at Nicole Jeff and we're almost at a million on TikTok, which is insane. Um, but I post on there like every single day, like six times a day, if not more. I'm always posting on TikTok. So if you wanna follow me more up to date, it's TikTok. So I'll see you guys with a new video very soon. All right, bye guys, love ya.